And the BAFTA goes to Alchemy VR Atlantic Digital for David Attenborough's Great Barrier Reef Dive. have some notes. The challenge of this particular project was that this was a totally new medium and we wanted to do it with a proper film narrative a uh, over a thousand feet below the surface of the Great Barrier Reef, i.e. no retakes, and it had to be done alongside a series. But this VR film has actually taken a life of its own. It's gone out around the world and been in museums, and people have flocked to see it at a very time when the Great Barrier Reef is under huge attack. And I think it's 40% of the Great Barrier Reef has disappeared since we made the series. With, of course, David Attenborough as your guide, which you can't really beat. I want to thank Charlotte Moore, because she uh, commissioned this original series, so this, well, this would never have happened without it. And I want to thank BAFTA, because this is the very first virtual reality film to win a BAFTA award. But as I always find myself on the podium, there's something I've got to say about David, who will be thrilled when I speak to him. It's also another landmark for David Attenborough, because in the digital world, he's now been involved in a hands-on Attenborough project for the first time in winning in 4K, 3D, and now virtual reality. What other 91-year-old in a couple of weeks' time could ever say that? <laughs> but thank you, BAFTA, BAFTA, for backing something that was a huge risk and worked, and this brilliant team did fantastically well. Thank you. Winners of the Digital Creativity BAFTA Craft, massive congratulations, Alchemy VR. Mm. Very, very exciting. And Atlantic Digital. Of course, of course. <laughs> well got in, well got in. Um, what an amazing project to work on. So yeah. talk, talk to me about um, your involvement, but also how well, it came what, about. What, it, what is special about, about, I think, this award and the project is that we were working in a new medium, virtual reality, alongside a major production, which, uh, which was directed by Mike Davis, for the BBC, and we were coming up with a different narrative in a new medium that no one had really ever used for that before, where we had to invent new, ca well, being part of inventing new camera technology, mm. editing technology, and we were literally on the crest of a, of a new technology, and that's very, very tough. And what's so nice about this award now is to be, you know, for BAFTA to acknowledge, you know, it's the first ever virtual reality film to ever be given uh, by BAFTA for virtual reality, you know, and that's that's pretty damn special. That's really special. Yeah, I'm yeah. working on anything I imagine that has David Attenborough's name mm. uh, yeah. attached and, and, and the man himself, of mm. course, involved. That's pretty special too. Well, it is. I mean, I, we've done it 11 times. So we, we've actually we're very familiar with <laughs> working with David. But no, we're not, never, you can never Probably. get over working with David Attenborough. <laughs> but, but I think what, what, you, what Dave is amazing at is he's amazing at storytelling. And so therefore that pushes us as storytellers to push the whole way we make every medium around David. And you know, we're now the, the team with David that's won the first ever BAFTA in 3D, 4K, and virtual reality. And it's thanks to the whole team who have been utterly brilliant at pushing a new medium. David loves to push a new medium. A lot of people don't, but mm. nearly, what, 91 in a couple of weeks' time, he still wants to push it. This will thrill him to win another BAFTA under his, as it were, one of his projects, which is absolutely on the cutting edge. And that's amazing, isn't it, for a 90-year-old? Absolutely. Yeah. And is it an exciting time to be working on interactivity and working on this kind of project? I mean, cool. is there stuff happening now that gets you excited that you're looking to? Um, yeah, for sure. Like, uh, it changes so quickly. That's the thing. I mean, this project was around about, I don't know, a number of months, 18 months ago or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the landscape even since then has changed a huge amount. And at the time that we were filming it, everything was extremely kind of touch and go. There were, you know, there was this huge mega yacht, this huge scientific research vessel. There was David Attenborough there. The submarine was trying to dive on the reef and we were relying on such razor thin technology to try and make it work. You know, we were so dependent on things that we knew should work, but maybe they wouldn't. 
So it was touch and go, and it was scary and incredible and exciting all at the same time. But, um, but what's particularly nice about this experience is it was a, a initially intended, obviously, to be a companion piece to the mm -hmm. series. But people liked it so much and wanted it. It's now been in museums across the globe, packing them in at a very moment when the Great Barrier Reef is under huge threat. So people have engaged, even got involved in discussions in the Australian election about how important, because the, the, it was in, in Sydney in their main national museum, natural history museum. And so what's nice is to make something that's on the cutting edge, but also has an impact that will help things like the Great Barrier Reef, which are under major attack at the moment. And, it, and I think it's about the immersion, isn't it, Phil? Yeah. Of, of, of three, uh, well, 360 3D is that you're in, an, in that world and you feel empathetic and, and you feel very the power of that world it's an right? incredible yeah, sure. vehicle for conservation and, and yeah. for change absolutely amazing yeah. Yeah. huge congrats you get to go and, and relax now you're <laughs> early on in the evening you, Good. well yes. we like that we like we like being early in the evening but, <laughs> no, uh, but thank you we're, we're all and the team as i say the whole team did an incredible job thank you so much thank you very thank much thank you very much thank you